Welcome! I'm Kosal. If you're watching this video, then you've been selected as the Dungeon Master for your group of friends. Get ready to embark on the biggest adventure of your life. And get comfortable, because you've cemented yourself as the official DM until the day you die. Wait, what do you mean by that? That cool character you made whose parents died and now he has to avenge them? He's a peasant who gets killed in the third session. That oddly erotic cat girl named Sakura Tsunade? Let's keep that on the back burner. Probably forever, you degenerate piece of f Lesson 1. From Humble Beginnings There are plenty of different tabletop games. Dozens even. However, only one of them won't get you bullied at school. Or at least not as much. But don't let this deter you from becoming the best DM you can be, even if you choose a wacky game to play. Always make sure to choose the correct game for you and your friends. How about a 1920s eldritch horror mystery using D&D? Call of Cthulhu. But is there a way I can play in outer space using D&D? No, just play Starfinder or Savage Worlds. But how about a- No, tabletops are all about- Imagination. So why don't you just imagine yourself not asking me stupid questions and just play the best game for you? Lesson two, keep it simple. You've now reached the part of the training where you're ready to begin the first parts of your campaign. But slow down there, champ. You don't want to burn yourself out before the game even begins. You may want to get started on creating your entire world right then and there, but you must be very careful about it. This is what we like to call homebrewing. <laughs> what people don't know is that about 97% of all homebrews will make you regret putting them into your story including the ones you find online. So before you jump into a wacky original story with wacky original items, I recommend starting your campaign with a pre-made adventure or a one-shot, at least just for the very beginning. Then you can slowly make your way into your own totally original story that isn't based off some obscure anime you think nobody else watched. Lesson three. Even with starting on a pre-made campaign, you're sometimes faced with the fact that your players are going to be wildly unpredictable. In fact, get used to getting rid of and recycling two-thirds of your content. Even a well-made module can't tell you how to do everything. Sometimes you're gonna have to make things up on the fly. What if I told you there was a glorious treasure trove of stories right at your disposal? When you're having trouble, always steal your ideas. Because the government can't copyright your brain. Or can they? You may be wondering what if your players realize you've taken an idea for your own? Well, don't steal it completely, silly. That's not Daenerys Targaryen, that's Aerys Target, Queen of Wervens. That isn't Matt Mercer and the cast of Critical Role, that's a bunch of NPCs who you didn't put through a name generator. And that definitely isn't a man that got bit by a magic spider because he was bit by a bat, making him bat. And if they still don't believe you, let me introduce you to a little friend I call Gaslighting. And if anybody ever asks you where you got this advice, I didn't tell you. Because you're crazy and a liar and I don't know what you're talking about. Lesson four, be firm. Now, I know you've heard the horror stories of bad DMs. In fact, there's an entire genre of YouTube videos about it. Oh my God, I should switch my content. But don't let this scare you from one of my favorite pastimes, insulting your friends. Sometimes they have god awful ideas, or maybe they miss out on your sessions. Don't be afraid to call them out. They may not even realize it. Now, I'm not saying you should tell them to test out the strength of a rope. Excited D&D players are hard enough to find as it is. Make a list of rules and settings to bring to your session zero. You should all be on the same page from day one. And if in six months they still fail to do this, then you can tell them to go kill. Lesson five, final lesson. The point of tabletops is all about getting your friends together, having fun, and escaping the cruel torments of our measly reality. So why not make the most of it? Sure, there's a rule book meant to keep everything nice and tidy, but everyone is here to relax and let loose. If something seems fun, then maybe that druid should be able to turn into a dragon. Maybe the barbarian can woo the king with his majestic muscles. As a DM, you'll learn that players will make your plans fall apart all the time. And you may start wondering, what's the point? If you and everybody at the table had fun, then maybe losing your ultimate villain in four sessions was worth it. What most don't understand is that the dungeon master isn't the writer of the story. They are simply the facilitator. Your stories at the table is a representation of the bond between a DM and their players. 
But don't ever let those disgusting dogs step on you because it's only by your grace that they're allowed to do their idiotic ideas. All right, you are the king. You're the god of this world. Reality is based off of what you create. You're the goddamn glue holding this friendship together. Remember that.